And you. And you. And you. Mystery Baby, will you be ready for swimming? Or a dance? When you open the door, will your mystery date be a dream? So if you couldn't already tell that from my cheesy introductions that this is going to be about the mystery date board game, that goofy little jingle is actually from the 1960s commercial that aired on TV in black and white. This, however, is the 1972 version of the game, which, you know, there's no record of this anywhere online. Another reason why I'm making this video I know it's been a long while, but I'm back. Um, of course, a lot of things have been going on as far as like work and being busy and trying to still deal with the pandemic. But, you know, let's just look back at happier times. Um, of course, I wasn't born in the 70s, but they were a lot more simpler. And I could definitely appreciate um, the style and artwork and everything else that comes from that era. So this is definitely one of those antiques I wanted to get my hands on. I'm glad that the cover's intact. And beautiful as you can see how bright and pretty it is sometimes it's ripped stained it's really hard to find online um so pretty pricey as well anyway i'm gonna pause this video for a sec and show you what's inside the box so excuse me for being a little lazy i didn't want to take the game completely out of box only because it's a pain to get out of it but I mainly brought this game because the artwork was different. It's very pretty. Definitely got a 70s feel to it. The game mechanics are exactly the same. The only difference is really the artwork. And of course the pieces. So these are the tokens. There's four girls for four players. One in green who's blonde. Looks like she's holding a mirror and a brush, and she's obviously wearing her, I guess they call it a dressing gown from back in the day. Very similar to a robe. Here goes the lavender token with the brown hair. This cute little redhead in blue, who I probably would play the most, actually. And the pink. Now there's four dates that you can possibly go on, and it's the ski date, the formal date, which is like, I guess, like a prom evening date. Really cool. I love his purple jacket and his sideburns. The beach date. Love the sun glowing in the background. And the picnic date. Now, one thing I noticed a few days ago about this game is that all of the guys' faces sort of look the same. Different hair color. Same thing with the girls, but it's still a really pretty classic looking game. So, these are Swamp Brook 1 card with the player on right. As you know, like from other videos and from how-tos, you basically have to collect all three cards coinciding with the date. So here are the fashion outfits. I guess this is more of a fashion game geared towards girls. Probably one of the first from Milton Bradley. Um, I think it was 1963, 1965, somewhere around there where they first made this. But this is the beach date. You have to collect one, the bathing suit, beach bag and radio, sunglasses and umbrella, so these three allow you to open the door to find out what's your date. Then you have the evening gown, the bag and shoes, like the buckles on the shoes, very cute. The evening cape. And then you have, for the picnic date, the shorts and blouse. The picnic basket. A sun hat and knee socks. And the last, sweater and ski pants, ski 
ski boots, scarf cap, and gloves. So, obviously, I don't think this dice came with the game. I'm going to have to replace it either with the Barbie Queen of the Palm wooden dice, which is easier on the board, too. I don't want to, like, scuff it or mark it. Although, it's a pretty sturdy board, so it probably wouldn't be a problem, but this is obviously... This didn't come with the game, so probably one of my wooden dice would suffice better. This is the door mechanism, which is kind of crappy. Doesn't exactly work very well, but you're supposed to twist it and find out who turned the knob, find out who your date is. So if I was going on a formal date, this is a formal date. If I had these three matching pieces for that outfit. And twist it again. You might come out with a different date. Oh, there you go. That's the picnic date. It's on a bicycle. Cut off shorts. Let's see if we get a different date here. Ah, and here goes the dud. Which, in this game, he's called the pest, or he's known as the pest, and he's basically dressed so that he doesn't really want to do anything or go anywhere on a date. So he looks like he's just going to the library and he's wearing his casual clothes. And of course, they had to include the, the glasses to make him look even nerdier. He's probably the only guy who looks completely different from the rest of the guys in this game. But they're all drawings. I think the original had pictures of different guys. Oh, look. There goes the beach date. Look at his tiny little swim trunks. I like his surfboard and his sandals. Got some snorkeling gear. The shades on. Nice purple tank top. It's just really cute. I just love the art in this game. So the only one we're missing right now is what? The ski date? which I'll probably just have to show you. <laughs> this is actually working nicer than normal. Like, it's kind of funny that it's working perfectly for this video, because normally I can't get... Oh, there you go. He's number two. There goes the ski date. Love the sweater. And of course the bell-bottom jeans. So cool. Probably not great for skiing though. But that's what they wore back in the 70s, so very authentic. So that's it. I just wanted to show you the really cool looking Mystery Day game. It's not the best game I've ever played. I've only played it once. Um, I don't recommend it for the fellas unless if you make it fun or play with the right crowd. Maybe even make it into a drinking game. You could pretty much make anything into a drinking game where, like, let's say... You know, where it says, take one card from either draw or discard pile. No, maybe not that one. I think swap one card with any player. Now, if you swapped and you took something that somebody needed, then either that person could take a shot or you could take a shot. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty much it. You start at these four corners. And the only way that you can open the door is if you obviously land on the space and have at least one, two, and three of a matching outfit. So, there you go. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I almost forgot the back of the cards look really cool, too. Like the question marks, the mystery date logo, love the curly Q letters. Kind of reminds me of, like, vintage Barbie. Um, her logo back in the day when it was, like, curly cued and... Very cool. And this is the number one for the ski date outfit. But yeah, overall, um, I wouldn't say it's the best game in the world. It definitely doesn't seem interesting enough, but I love the vintage art of it all. And another reason why I had to have this in my collection. But I hope you enjoyed it and God bless. Have a great day. Thanks.